Good morning everyone. So, yesterday we had some fantastic news. We picked up Pub of the Year for North Nottinghamshire. And we've only been open six months. That's a good result, isn't it? So the presentation is on the 10th of March, which is a few weeks away. So I would like to make some vacant gesture for them. So the plan is today to go down to the brewery, get the homebrew kit, bring it back here because I've retrofitted it, wire it up and squeeze a brew in all in the space of a day. So hopefully we'll be able to fit that in. Uh, it is 10 o'clock now and one of the reasons why I'm leaving the house a little bit late is because I've just had to help Tom out with an STC wiring diagram. So this is what I sent him. I think you can figure it out from there though, don't you? Right, I'm just going to have a slice of toast and a bit of cheese and then I'm off down the unit to pick up the homebrew kit. I'm in the bad box now. Just fetched Gemma out of the shower to find the car keys. Ten minutes we were looking. In my pocket. <laughs> so this is the condition of the homebrew kit as it stands. And some of the electrical connectors and boxes are hanging off because I haven't quite finished reconnecting them yet so I think it's important for me to do that now, it'd be a bit of a rush job, but of course done properly. <laughs> and uh, we'll get this back up to home and get a brew on. We'll Here we are in the home brewery folks, it's been a while, it really has. So one of the first jobs I've got is to first install this black rubber cable in place of this blue arctic cable which can obviously carry a lot more, heck of a lot more current and then wash all the sides down, you can see we've got some black mould, bit of rust, everything wants washing and then we're going to clean all the pumps and pipe work put the HLT back up there, fill her up, get her heat in and then clean all of the brewing equipment outside and as it's cleaned bring it in and start to use it and I think it's just about to start to rain yeah it looks like a few spots of rain, brilliant so I've wired up two new cables now to the uh, to the safest death trap you're ever likely to see hidden away behind this plasterboard so here we have pump controls for 12 volt pumps which we're going to phase out. Here we have uh, 40 amp solid state relays to control the elements. Rex controllers and uh, another one, I forgot what the name of that one is, but that has a manual mode. And then on and off switches for everything. 24 volt power supply for the 24 volt pumps. Cooling fan to blow over the cooling fins of the solid state relays. And basically a great big buzz bar with lives, neutrals and earths and then they pop through this side of course into the control panel area there a circuit breaker there and now the newly fitted heavy cables which should allow me to brew with no risk of electrocution having been fully retrofitted so we're 50% there folks, we're cleaned, we've got the HLT in, the new plug fit in, running across nicely, we're filling her up now, right to the brim, and we will uh, we will get some water heated, and then get the boil kettle in, get some grains in the mash tun which have been cleaned out, nice and clean in there, still got the pumps to clean, and that's it. That's just the pumps to do. There's nothing wrong with stabbing a bag of chips into yourself on a brew day. completely cleaned up in here now. I've just filled the fermenter with star sam, 
no rain sanitizer so we're going to sit that outside give it a shake and let it sanitize kill all the nasties within this fermentation bucket it's a big boy and we're about to mash in so I'll get the thermometer out and I think we're looking for a, a mash in temp of 64 or 65 degrees 65. That sound tells me the mash is over. It's time to transfer the liquid from there into there. The transfer is happening now. Another little something I like to do as well is an iodine test. It's so quick and easy to do, you may as well do it. Here we have a tablespoon of the wort out of the boil kettle and we're going to drop some iodine in there and we're looking for any blackness which will indicate starch and therefore an incomplete mash process. And as you can see, there is no black arch. There's no black in there whatsoever. So I'm very, very pleased with that, and I think it's a complete mash conversion. <laughs> Have you got something to tell us? Friday club was yesterday. We now have a full pot of sweet wort which is about to reach a boil as you can see by the surface movement. So this is one of the most crucial parts of the brew because this is where you can make a real mess with something called a boil over. You probably know what that is. Okay, we've pretty much got past the hot break now, and in that time, I've managed to take the mash tun out, empty it, you'll see it sat in front of the smoker there, clean the manifold, and make some happy chickens. So the one, one of the most important things that I'm concerned with on a brew day is hygiene. It's reflected in your beers, and uh, poor practice in that respect. Ain't gonna win you no awards, boys. That is a happy chicken. Oh my god. So we're going for the first hop drop of mosaic. Uh, a 90 minute, I don't know why she's put 90 minutes on it. It's a 60 minute boil. So we will pop her in there. And that's the heat exchanger in. I didn't film it because I needed both hands. Some of this hot water for cleaning. Sneak peek of the beautiful beer being transferred. You probably can't see in there. So we've got the pump recirculating star sand, everything's clean and ready for the next brew. 
I've just got to lock up and pitch some yeast. Well, we've been outside all day. The lens is about to steam up because I've come in from the cold. We've got two packets of USO5 yeast to pitch into the brew and that is the vacant maid on a weekend. Just like that. Come on Abs, let's get ready to go. Let's go and get some tea times. Dad's hungry after a full day in the brew shed. Not that one, the other one. Hello madam. Hi. I'm going to sit here okay. tonight. We'll put your seatbelt on then. Okie dokie. Well, we went out spending. Gemma's not happy because I spent all her money. Gemma's not very happy. I spent all her hard earned money on gin, beer, mixed notes, and chicken. We're having chicken tonight. That's it. Sunday tomorrow. We'll see you then.